Africa is often hailed as the birthplace of humanity. Archaeologists have found so many things there that we know that to be the case. But they've also found a bunch of other stuff, some of which can be, shall we say, uncomfortable to really think about. Let's get on with it, shall we? From a new human species to an African Stonehenge, let's explore the 20 unsettling discoveries in Africa nobody can explain. <laughs> Number 20 new human-like species. Experts have long said that life began on the continent of Africa. We know that's true, but now we're discovering that, that there may have been more going on there than even we knew. Like, for instance, brand new species we didn't know existed. In 2015, scientists discovered a new human-like species in a cave in South Africa. 15 partial skeletons were found, the largest number number of primitive human remains ever found on the continent of Africa. Part human and part ape, it's believed that the species called Homo nullity could possibly be a bridge between the two. But we're not finished. Researchers say that nullity may have been capable of ritual behavior seen only in modern humans millions of years earlier than previously thought. So we may be looking at another incarnation of our ancestors and that is significant enough to make the experts pay attention. Today, scientists believe that these remains could be among the first of our human species and likely lived around 3 million years ago. That's a pretty fascinating reminder that humans have been around on this planet for an absurdly long time and how far we've come as a species. Now we're actively destroying our home. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. Scientists discover an awful lot of things all over the world, but these scientists, oh boy, what they discovered in Africa shocked the whole world. The researchers discovered a strange fish-like creature with two tails in Somalia and believed it can survive in both fresh and salt water. It is the only species of its kind ever to be discovered and came as a complete surprise to scientists. Some have even called it an African unicorn due to its rarity and striking appearance, but not everybody is convinced. Many think it's nothing more than a stunt of some kind, but to what end? You tell me. Do you think this is a real-life African unicorn or something else entirely? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 19. Stone Circles in Senegambia People visit Africa for all kinds of reasons. Some people want to see the animals, others want to see the landscape, some just want to soak up a little bit of culture, and some people just really, 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 really want to see a few rocks. To be fair, the stone circles in Senegambia are a lot more than mere rocks. They're an extraordinary monument and a remnant of an ancient society and civilization. It's pretty understandable why people would want to see it for themselves. The site is made up of four large groups of stone circles and 1,000 monuments in total. They stretch all along the River Gambia, and scientists have been researching them for decades. Excavations have revealed material that suggests they date back sometime between the 3rd century BC and the 16th century AD, but together they represent a landscape constructed over 1,500 years. The stone circles of Senegambia have become such an important site that UNESCO has named it one of the most important in all of Africa, and that's why people go out of their way to visit them even today. That's the magic of rocks, my friends.
Number 18. Sky Stone Just take a look at this. It's a little blue stone, right? That's all. Absolutely nothing special or interesting about this rock whatsoever. Well, you'd be wrong. This rock is actually something truly fascinating, an alien remnant right here on Earth. In the billions of years that our planet has existed, it's fair to assume that it's seen quite a lot of meteorite debris. And often when people find these stones, they ascribe some kind of meaning to them, some scientific, others more religious or spiritual. When the Sky Stone fell to Earth, people jumped to some pretty wild conclusions, entirely because it was blue, but also because it's mostly made up of oxygen. Yeah, oxygen. Local legends in the Sierra Leone region claim that these stones were once beings that lived in the sky, but when God was displeased by their wrongdoings, he turned them into stones and cast them to Earth to remain buried beneath the soil. Instead, people began finding the stones and quickly turned them into cherished artifacts. After all, it's not exactly common to find brightly colored stones in the middle of nowhere, is it? That happens, what, maybe once a week, if you're lucky? Number 17. World's Oldest Stone Tools we know so much about human history and our own relationship with the tools that helped us evolve as a species, but even now, we're discovering more and more proof that tools might even predate humanity. That's weird, right? In a dried up riverbed in Kenya, archaeologists discovered shards of scarred rocks, some of which appeared to be early hammers and cutting instruments. When the experts looked even deeper into it, they found that the tools were approximately 3.3 million years old, which means that somebody began chipping away at the rock to develop these tools before humans were even on the map. It's not known who or what created these tools, but experts seem to firmly believe that it's proof that tool making began before any human was walking the earth, which again proves that we're really kind of irrelevant to life. That makes you feel good, right? Before this discovery, the earth earliest evidence of stone tools dated back 2.6 million years and were believed to have been constructed by an early human ancestor, but now we're once again forced to rethink what we knew about our own history. And it's becoming increasingly clear that none of us have any idea who the hell we are or where the hell we came from. Number 16. Strange Rocks Something a little different now, we're gonna go on a little excursion to a tiny island between Madagascar and the east coast of Africa, and what we're going to find here, uh, it shouldn't be here. I think that's probably the best way to say it. This island is made of igneous volcanic rock from the oceanic crust, but the actual island is pretty much full of rocks from the continental crust. Or if you want to get even more specific, these mystery rocks seem to have come from a river delta or beach. It doesn't seem like anything that could have been formed on a traditional island here on Earth, and experts are stumped by what they're seeing. According to one scientific expedition, the rocks are quartzite, but the mystery is bigger than any of them could have expected, because if you put all the rocks together, you could produce half a mountain. Nobody understands what's happening, the rocks just straight up should not be on this island. Geographically, the whole thing is wrong and makes basically no sense. And yet, here we are, trying to make sense of what the heck is going on. Maybe it's time we just give up trying to understand what's happening on Earth. There's no logic to anything. <laughs> Number 15. Dendera Light Okay, so this one is just a little bit different since it's not really physical. In fact, this one is strange because it's a symbol that nobody can quite figure out. Any experts in ancient Egypt out there, you might want to prepare for this one. The Dendera light is a frequent motif within the Hathor temple in Egypt. Within this temple, there are many relics depicting Harsamtas, the ancient Egyptian god of the sky, emerging from a lotus flower as a snake, but this one is slightly different. 
This image seems to depict some kind of ancient Egyptian lightning technology, but nobody can quite agree on what it is specifically. Some fringe theories have gone as far as to suggest that the relief is confirmation that the ancient Egyptians had officially created their own form of electricity, which seems a little out there. But in truth, even the foremost Egyptologists in the world are confused about what this could mean. It doesn't seem to have any kind of easy explanation, which makes it such a popular topic for conspiracy theorists all over the world. Do you have a theory about what we're looking at here? Feel free to share it in the comments below. Number 14. The Pyramid's Hidden Chamber for the past few centuries, the Pyramids of Giza have been one of the most fascinating spots for archaeologists anywhere in the world. And even today, we're finding more and more new things, and it's all thanks to technology. In 2017, a group of genius physicists used the byproducts of cosmic rays to find something brand new within the Great Pyramid, a hidden chamber. It's the first major new find within the pyramids since the 19th century but the scientists were quick to get ahead of the inevitable headlines. There was no hidden treasure within. However, the find was still very exciting for everybody, offering another collection of insights into how the pyramids were built. Because, of course, that remains one of the greatest mysteries on the planet. How could any civilization build something so precise without the use of advanced technology? This is really just another demonstration of how great technology is when used appropriately. And by appropriately, I mean using it to discover something new and not roasting celebrities online. To their credit, the scientists didn't mock or dismiss any theories. They merely described themselves as agnostic about them, which I guess is a green light to suggest whatever you want. Aliens? Number 13. Fairy Circles if you ask the experts, they'll tell you with absolutely no doubt that the Namib Desert is basically a dead zone. Here you'll find nothing but sand and rocks, and yet, what do we have here? Hundreds of tiny, perfectly round spots of life. No, scientists don't understand it either. If you believe the local folklore, then the fairy rings were created by God, who happened to leave their footprints behind on Earth. Okay, not weird at all, but but no, according to scientists who have done studies into the circles, these are not magical circles at all. In fact, what looks like a random arrangement is actually governed by specific rules in nature, thanks to the arid landscape of the Namib. Water is very scarce in this desert, and that means plants there must compete for the remaining resources. So when a plant expands to form a thriving patch nearby, smaller plants just can't receive the water they need to survive. So there's less vegetation the farther away from the center of the patch you go. Well, there's one unexplained mystery solved, but that's not going to be enough to convince the people who truly believe in big gods that leave flowers in the wake of their footsteps, I guess. Number 12. Priestess's Tomb no matter how much we wish it was more Indiana Jones-esque, we've had to come to terms with the fact that archaeology can be kind of slow. I mean, sometimes an expedition will end with them finding nothing. That's just par for the course. Except when it isn't. In 2018, archaeologists found a tomb belonging to an ancient Egyptian priestess, Hetpet. Some 4,000 years ago, Hetpet was a priestess to Hathor, the goddess of fertility music and dance. That's interesting because back then, female priestesses were not all that common. But what's even more interesting is that the tomb was so lavishly decorated that it gives us a sense of just how high-ranking she was. But the real attraction comes from what's on the wall, paintings, 
a lot of paintings. Some of them portray Het Pet in hunting or fishing scenes, others depict people making leather goods and dancing, and some depict monkeys. Yeah, Het Pet had paintings of monkeys picking fruits, as well as a classic one of a monkey dancing in front of an orchestra. It's a pretty fascinating find, and one that archaeologists got very excited about, believing that it can tell us a great deal about how high-status people were buried back in the day. And also, monkeys dancing in front of an orchestra? Classic. Number 11. The Zora Stone Circle Morocco doesn't get a whole lot of focus when it comes to weird stuff. I mean, when was the last time you heard of something strange in this part of the world? But this next one rivals the likes of Stonehenge in terms of pure mystery. Near the rural village of Mazora, Morocco, there stands a giant circle of stones. 167 stones to be specific. The stones are arranged much like Stonehenge in a giant circle, but nobody knows for sure what it's all about. Locals believe that the site was once the grave of a Mauritian king. But researchers aren't convinced. They believe that the distinctive similarities between this site and other megalithic sites around Europe suggest that there's a link. They believe that whoever built these monuments all share the same cultural beliefs, but what those beliefs were remains an unsolved mystery. We may never come to understand the purpose or meaning behind the Mazora Stone Circle, but if we ever manage to get to the bottom of Stonehenge, then and we may well be in with a shot. So anybody out there who thinks they know something, you better hurry up and prove it so we can finish off another mystery at the same time. Number 10. Tong Child in 1924, a group of workers in South Africa happened to find a fossilized primate skull while mining. They took the skull to the managing director of the quarry, who then passed it along to his son. While visiting the son's house, a friend saw the skull and realized this might well be something more. To be more specific, the friend who had been working alongside celebrated autonomist and anthropologist Raymond Dart thought the skull resembled an extinct monkey. After gaining permission, she brought the skull to Dart, who asked the company to see other fossilized skulls found in the area. He got a whole collection and even managed to find a fossilized endocast of a skull, complete with an impression of a complex brain. Searching through the other fossils, he found a match, the fossilized skull of a juvenile primate. Dart concluded that this was likely an extinct Distinct race of apes that bridged the gap between living arthropoids and man. The press named the find the Tong Child, and the rest is history. What happened to the boy is unknown. Who he was is unknown. Pretty much everything is unknown, actually. But hey, Raymond Dart secured his legacy at least. Number 9. Ruins of Getty. When the UNESCO organization takes interest in a location, that usually means it's something special or worth paying attention to. The ruins of Getty are one of these places, an ancient site filled with fascinating history and artifacts. Back in the day, Getty was nothing more than a small town in East Africa, built with rock and stone. Thanks to careful preservation, the site still retains its original foundations, many of which date back to the 5th century. That's all thanks to ongoing work that began in 1927, when the ruins were officially declared a historic monument. But for all that we know about its treasures, we're unaware of why exactly it was eventually deserted. Many people have theories of their own, including that the place was overpowered by an army or that a lack of water pushed the residents out. But ultimately, nobody knows what happened. The only thing that's for sure is that the nobles did not flee town. Instead, they they emptied their gold and precious gems into secret vaults. How do we know this? Because none of it has ever been found. It's pretty much the most successful game of hide and seek in history. Number 8. Nuruwi 
Is there anything more exciting than the prospect of a lost city? I don't think so. And Meroe is one of the most fascinating of all, once home to an ancient dynasty within present-day Sudan. But then one day it was just abandoned. It's believed that the 25th dynasty of ancient Egypt established itself at Meroe around 656 BC. From there it began to develop a unique culture all of its own. Meroe became the capital of this new empire, developing into a huge and very prosperous region. It even survived a Roman invasion, but over time it began to diminish until it was a true shell of its once great self. As more and more tribes set about raiding the place, it began to suffer until eventually the whole city was lost to time entirely. What did I tell ya? Fascinating history, right? Around 1902, excavations began in the region, revealing a much wider and grander city than anybody really expected. Riverbanks, quays, palaces, a great temple. I mean, this place has pretty much everything you could hope to find in an ancient, lost Egyptian city. Well, maybe with with a few less ghostly mummies, but how many of us would be hoping to find one of those? Number 7. Saqqara Burt in the 1940s, people all over the world became obsessed with the story of the Maltese Falcon. It's a great example of how novels and movies can truly create a revolution around the world, but did you know that it may well be based on a real thing? Maybe! In 1898, researchers excavating the Pa Diamen tomb in Saqqara, Egypt, discovered a bird-shaped artifact made of sycamore wood. The so-called Saqqara bird immediately divided opinion between people who believed it was nothing more than a ceremonial symbol and those who thought it was something more significant. And in this case, significant means that they could well have been planning to fly. This would be a pretty major discovery considering that aviation wouldn't really become a thing until several centuries after the ancient Egyptian civilization died out. But at present, there's no concrete proof that this is what happened. So, we'll just have to imagine. So while there's no noir conspiracy at the heart of this mystery, there is a pretty big question of whether or not the Egyptians could fly. We'll never know for sure, but I'm gonna turn it over to you guys. We know they believed in God, we know they somehow built some of the most precise and grand structures in history, but could they fly? Let us know in the comments. Number 6. Heracleon 90% of the time, new discoveries tend to be land-based. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe all the artifacts and ruins are just better protected up above ground level. Or maybe it's just that nobody is brave enough to venture underwater to see what's down there. Now, that can't be right. Many centuries ago, in Egypt, stood an incredible city known as Heracleion. Back then, this city was easily one of the most important and influential in the world, being Egypt's main port for international trade. Not to mention being the place where taxes were collected, or at least that's what we were always told. Throughout the 20th century and earlier, nobody could find evidence it even existed. But then in 2000, a French archaeologist seeking warships underwater happened to stumble upon the submerged ruins 150 feet off the cast of Alexandria. This totally unexpected find proved once and for all that the legends were true. Heracleion was very real. No no self-respecting archaeologist could ever have expected that these ruins existed. In fact, many of them just assumed that they were myths. So you can imagine the shock when they were found entirely by accident. Sometimes kids, it pays to learn to dive. Lesson learned. Number 5. Rock Hewn Churches and now for a quick trip to Ethiopia. In this part of the world, we can find another little-known UNESCO World Heritage Site, or 12. These are the rock-hewn churches of Lalabella. Catchy name, right? I'm sure they could come up with something shorter, but uh, who has the time? These monolithic churches are named after the late 12th century king, Gebra Meskel Lalabella, who's believed to have commissioned the project.
His intent was allegedly to recreate the holy city of Jerusalem in his own backyard. Well, I guess it's good to have ambition. His plan didn't entirely go to waste, apparently, because every one of these churches is still in use today by the Ethiopian Orthodox Christian Church, and it's also quite a tourist attraction drawing worshippers from all over the world. It almost makes it worth the 24 years of construction, right? Over the past few decades, experts have done their best to conserve and restore the churches to their glory, but all of the efforts have been a little flawed. I mean, they intend well, but it just doesn't seem to be working out all that well. Still, I have total faith that they will somehow manage to protect these churches from the elements, and if there's a place you should have faith in, it's a church, right? Number 4. Quenang so we've already explained the magic of laser technology, and now we have another instance of just how incredible LiDAR can be if used in the right circumstances. Yeah, we have another lost city rediscovered thanks to the magic attack. Welcome to the future! For decades, South African archaeologists had been studying this site, hoping to find something new among the ruins, but it was in vain. They couldn't make heads or tails of what they were looking at. Then in 2019, experts used LiDAR technology to study the ruins from above and discovered that what they assumed were merely a group of ancient stone huts was actually much more. It was a city, specifically an ancient lost city known as Quanang. It's believed that the city was at its prime sometime between the 5th and 19th century and was home to approximately 10,000 people. Technology, eh? It's now believed that Quanang likely went into decline after a few decades of civil conflict, like many modern-day states dealing with civil wars. It's pretty difficult to try and bounce back after your citizens have decided to wage war on one another. At the very least, it saps morale. At its worst, it destroys the whole place. Number 3. Giant Dragon Head Do dragons exist? Eh, probably not. Have they ever existed? That one is up for debate. But you know what isn't up for debate? The statement that Google Earth is one of the greatest inventions ever to be gifted to us as humans. And here's proof. Somebody spent the afternoon messing around on Google Earth, exploring the world and seeing what they found. And what did they find? Apparently a big fossilized dragon head. Or at least that's what they believe. This image was captured while hovering over the Mar Meridian Desert, and apparently it seems to show a huge rock formation or fossil that looks a little like a dragon. Of course, that's entirely down to your perspective on dragons, rocks, and fossils, but it's not the most out there theory I've ever heard from Google Earth. Seriously. Okay, so I guess this one is very much up for debate. Whether you see the dragon or not is entirely down to you, so feel free to let us know in the comments below. For what it's worth, archaeologists have insisted that it's not a dragon whatsoever, reminding us that dragons do not and never have existed. But hey, believe whatever you want. Number 2. Eye of the Sahara when you think of the Sahara, it's hard to imagine anything other than miles and miles of brown or beige colored sand. But as it turns out, there's so much more out there than just that. There's a big ol' eye right in the middle. Right in the middle of the Sahara, you can find this. The so-called Blue Eye of the Sahara. Also known as the Richat Structure, this is a geological formation that seems to resemble a huge eye or giant bullseye. Before the 1960s, this monument was was only known to a few local tribes, but then the moon landing happened. Astronauts began using the monument as a visual landmark to help track the progress of their landing sequences. Pretty helpful, but don't worry too much about the cause behind this one. We know it predates humanity. In fact, geologists firmly believe that the eye began forming when Pangaea started to pull apart. I guess you could say it was an eye-opening experience. Please laugh. My self-esteem kind of depends on your laughter. Even if it's just to make me feel better. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Number 1. Ancient Massacre 
We've known all along that humans are capable of an unimaginable amount of violence. You only have to look at the wars, murders, and true crime podcasts throughout history to see that. But now we have evidence to prove it even more conclusively. In 2016, archaeologists managed to uncover the earliest evidence of war between hunter-gatherers. The site was uncovered west of Lake Turkana, Kenya, and was filled with the 10,000-year-old remains of 27 people. Experts immediately noted that they had all met violent deaths and were left to die, as opposed to being buried. Or to put it another way, it was an absolute massacre and bloodbath. The archaeologists quickly determined that the cause of death was clubbing or stabbing, and the victims included both male and female adults as well as children. But it's not known what provoked this violence. However, it's absolutely known that this was the result of some kind of group conflict, likely to rival tribes coming into a final conflict, a tale as old as time, right? Typical criminal stuff. If there's one thing that humanity can be counted on to deliver, it's unchecked and unnecessary violence. Which of these discoveries shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.